Hi families! My name is Mallory Hammond and I am the director of Kids and Families here at Christ Presbyterian Church. Well, it is officially August and you know what that means. Back to school season. Can you believe it? This time of year can be so hard on parents. There is no shortage of registrations, supplies to organize, money to spend, and as we begin to prepare for our fall kickoff and regular programming for the fall, I wondered what it would be like to lead back up to school and how that really felt for families. So I reached out to 35 moms to ask them what this season is like for parents. So I asked, what do you worry most about launching your kids back into a new school year of school? The first mom said, a volume of details, school supplies, uniforms, registrations, clubs, tryouts, new teachers. The next mom said, did we choose the right schools? Did we get the right teacher? Are we doing the right activities, the right balance of activities? Are they ready for college, even in middle school? The next mom said, what is the wisest for electronics? Phone, social media, should we move to an Amish community and scrap all electronics? I, and then the next mom said, I brace for my anxious kiddo's adjustment to new everything and pray I have the strength and energy to deal with the fallout of that adjustment. The next mom said, I think that the parents who have kids with learning differences and challenges have more stress about teacher-child fit and their child connecting with friends. Or if they struggle in school or don't love school, homework can be a nightmare. So then I asked, where is it the hardest to trust the Lord in this season? And the first mom said, does God really love my babies more than I do? And the next mom said, is this the year they'll finally have a good friend? Please, Jesus. Another mom said, FOPP, fear of parenting poorly or always wondering what would a good parent do? Like most of us, this mom says, my fears are born out of navel gazing and forgetting that this is not my home. So then I asked, so what do we do? And this is fun because these tips and encouragements are all for you from you. So several moms said a variation of this. The other thing we have to really pray through is how we devote our time. If our priority is to disciple them as followers of Jesus, we just wanna make sure we are listening and praying through our commitments. Another parent said, I also need to be reminded that sometimes our kids will have a hard teacher or a hard year or hard friendships, but that God is still working in that, even when it doesn't get better. Even in that year, he still is growing them and sometimes even more sanctifying them through these hard things. And one kind of hilarious mom asked me if I could lead us through some stretches and deep breathing exercises as we assemble backpacks and drink coffee. And I'm not sure I'm your best resource for restorative yoga, but kids ministry can always be nearby with a cup of coffee and a word of encouragement. So let us know if you ever need someone to process and to pray with. So then I have some encouragement for you. I asked, where does the Lord encourage you most? And a mom said, when I take time to spend mornings with him, making me less focused on the here and now, asking for his help and leaning on him. Another mom said, I'm encouraged to remember all the ways God has met us and prepared the way for us in past years. Another parent said, as parents, we're trying to model the truth that we cannot in our own strength get to all the demands accomplished, but to call on and rely on the Holy Spirit for each of our days with our kids. And lastly, this is from me. Take a deep breath. This is hard. You aren't weird for feeling this way. Be kind to yourself. Talk to your friends about what works and what doesn't work for their families. I learned so much from texting some of my mom friends in one afternoon. Ask other moms or dads on Sundays here at Christ Presbyterian. You aren't alone. We see you. We are praying for a peace-filled, restful, sunshiny summer and a great start to the new school year for you and your family. We love you. We are so glad you are ours and we are yours. Bye.